Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday, October 17th, 2020. Uh, it is chilly. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, I just got back from a ride. I just got about 100 miles and uh, very, very chilly. But uh, colors are still looking absolutely beautiful here at the homestead. I'm just going to pan around a little bit so you can see everything. Uh, both fireplaces are rocking and rolling. I don't know if you can see the stuff coming off of theirs, it's burning that hot that all you see is the uh, um, the heat coming off of the top of that. I just fed mine because I was gone, so mine is actually smoking, and you can see the smoke coming off the top of mine. Uh, but it's nice and toasty warm in the house because I filled up the firebox before I left, and. Uh, and that's what I did. So, I wanted to talk today really quickly because I think it's kind of important. With everything going on um, and stuff like that, uh, will you be headed to a FEMA camp? And I did a video, uh, actually almost two years ago, two years, maybe three, almost three years ago now, um, about FEMA camps. And I think in that video I said 90% of you will go to FEMA camps willingly and here's why. Um, that was the video and I kind of wanted to retouch on that now with everything that is currently going on um, and basically say will you go to a FEMA camp and so I want you to take in the example of when an emergency happens uh, you know a lot of people go to the shelters okay they're going they're looking for help uh, they're looking for the Red Cross they're looking for FEMA you know for food distribution for water distribution um, I know that some companies come in with, uh, you know, the laundry machines and, and help people by getting laundry cleaned. And there's all kinds of stuff that go on, okay? Now, I'd like to compound that, and let's talk about a worst-case scenario. Uh, you know, a, a power grid down for an extended period of time. We have no idea when the power is going to come back on. What happens then? Will you willingly go off to a FEMA camp? And the answer is, realistically... Most people will. What's going on, AB? Abel. Oh, there he goes. It's off with his mama. So, anyway, most people will willingly go to a FEMA camp. And I'm going to give you a great couple, several, several reasons why. All right. Um, I don't care how hardened you are and how prepared you are. If there is a medical emergency that you cannot deal with um, at your retreat, if you don't have the proper care to take care of that loved one, be it a child, uh, a parent, somebody that, you know, your wife, somebody that you care about, okay, uh, you're going to take them in to where you need to take them in. Uh, that's just a reality. Uh, and a lot of people don't think about those type of things. Uh, you know, the choice is let them die or take them into a camp where they can get the proper help that they need. Now, knowingly, or knowing, I should say, that you're probably not going to be able to leave that camp voluntarily afterwards. Uh, you know, that's how those things would be. They, you know, I mean, I don't know if they would call them re-education camps or, you know, whatever the case may be. But they're going to offer help, but they're going to offer help for a price. Okay, and that price is going to be your freedom. Uh, you know, so what is your freedom worth? Um, you know, are you willing to, you know, lay down and go, okay, I'm going to let them do what they want to do, uh, because, you know, I, I in, in that situation, it's, it's a very, very tough call. Like I said, again, if you don't have the medical expertise, um, and there is some kind of a medical emergency, and you know that they can be saved by going to this camp, you're probably going to take them. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, most people out there in our society today, they're going to go to that camp first thing no matter what. Because if they're offering power, uh, you know, uh, Wi-Fi, if they're offering, you know, uh, being able to do laundry, heated buildings or cooled buildings, depending on where you're at, uh, people are going to very, very willingly go ahead and just go. Um, that's the reality of that. And so uh, people don't think about those type of things. But uh, that is the reality of that type of a situation. Um, again, I don't care how prepared you are. If you are in that life and death situation with a loved one, it's a hard decision to make. And are you willing to make that for your freedom? 
okay? Uh, again, it's, it's a, a complete manipulation that can happen very, very easily. And literally, if, they, if you go to the camp and they say, okay, you know, put your guns uh, over here and your ammunition over here and you won't be getting them back, you know, the number of people that will go, all right, no problem, they're going to do it, okay? Again, uh, it is giving up freedom in the guise of security. And, and that is what a lot of people are going to willingly do. They're going to do it voluntarily, line me up, let me go first type of situation. Because the majority of people in this country are not prepared. And because of being not prepared, it puts them in a very vulnerable state. So the, the choices are, do they tough it out and, and figure things out and, and learn how to survive? Or do they go where they know that the creature comforts are going to be there, but again, that they will be under total control? Uh, you know, and that's the thing. And then, then they will become the worker bees. That's how that situation would pan out, and that's how, excuse me, that's how it would work. Um, and I want you guys to th really think about that. It's a really something to ponder. It's something to think about. Um, what are you willing to give up for your freedom, you know, and why? Why would you give up the freedom? Um, there's many, many situations uh, where that will happen. Uh, again, another, another example would be uh, an insulin-dependent loved one. You have, you know, um, a child that is on insulin, and you only got so much, and once that insulin's gone, you know that if you can take them to that camp and that they're going to take care of them and they're going to save your child's life, most people, I mean, as a parent, you're going to do it. Um, that's just the reality of it. I mean, it sucks. It's not fair, but that is the reality of it. So people need to think about those things. And again, if you can prepare ahead of time for those contingencies and be ready for the most part for whatever the case may be, it's going to give you that advantage where you don't have to give up your freedoms. Okay? You know, people say, oh, well, they're going to come and they'll hunt people down. They're not going to have time to do that. They're not. Um, you know, they're going to have a hard enough time trying to control um, cities. I hear one, some dog over, the neighbor's dog. Uh, they're going to have a hard enough time trying to control cities and all those type of situations. So, my birds today, um, once again, very lazy birds today. Uh, we got two eggs today. So, uh, it's just, again, it's cold. It's that time of year we're not getting as much sunlight as we normally do. And uh, that's what happens, you know, in, at this time of year. So, but I want to hear your feedback, guys. Um, I want to hear what you guys have to say, um, what you think. What would be a reason for you to individually go in, lay down your arms, walk into a FEMA camp, and let them completely and utterly control you? What would be the circumstances in which you would do that, okay? Um, and any of you that say that you would let your child die, I have a hard time believing that that would be the case. I really do. Because I know... Um, for my children, I would do whatever is necessary to keep them safe and keep them alive. Uh, so, you know, as a parent, that's, you know, that is always going to be your first thought. So, um, like I said, again, I want to hear what you guys have to say. I want to hear your feedback on this situation. So, anyway, I want to talk about real quick about my website, PrepperNurse1.com. We have the PrepperNurse1 community at the website. So I would, um, I would encourage you to go there and uh, join the community if you are not already. It is a great resource that we set up for you guys to connect with like-minded people. Um, if you want to go in and just read the message boards, that's fine. If you want to go in and try to connect with somebody in the state or the country that you're in, that's also fine. Um, it's completely up to you, okay? So, um, again, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's totally free to join. It does not cost anything. You do have to register, uh, but, again, there's no credit card information asked or anything like that. Also on the website, we have jdega.com, which is the CBD and hemp store. Uh, it, again, it's a nice resource to have. Uh, there's a lot of uses for CBD products, and I've gone over them several times before. You know, um, they really help with a lot of things. So uh, it's a really good prep item to have as well. If you do go there, the link is below, and also in... Um, um, on the website, you'll see it there as well at PrepperNurse1.com. You'll see the CBD thing, and if you click on that, it will take you to their link to the store. If you do decide to make a purchase, make sure you use the discount code PrepperNurse1. 
you will save yourself 15% on your purchase if you do that, okay? So definitely take advantage of that and do that, and you will, you know, like I said, you'll save yourself 15% uh, when you're checking out. And again, it's Prepper Nurse 1, the number one, not O-N-E, okay? Uh, also, we have the Legacy Freeze Dry Food on the website. I will be doing a sale at the end of this month. So definitely, if you're gonna, you know, thinking about getting uh, freeze-dried food for a long-term uh, storage option, it's a good thing to have in your preps. Uh, it, again, it is um, the largest portion size of any other the freeze-dried food companies, and also it is made in America, and it is GMO-free, and uh, you know you can get gluten-free as well. So uh, again, really good good options there uh, for long-term food storage. And, uh, you know, like I said, you can put it away in a cool, dry place, and you got a 25-year shelf life. So it's a really nice thing to have just to put away. Um, I have it in my own preps as well. So anyway, um, on that note, I'm going to jump off of here, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope your weekend is going good. Um, again, you know, I will be live streaming tomorrow night, so I would encourage you to join me then. And I have no idea what the topic is going to be yet, but uh, we will figure that out at that point in time. But... Uh, yeah, everything is really starting to yellow up. The leaves are really coming down. It's that time of year. It's getting colder. Uh, the weather's getting, you know, a little nastier each time. We had a really good day, though. I mean, it was, even though it was cool today, um, the sun was out, so that was really nice. So we ended up with nice power for the solar system. So actually, we'll walk over real quick, and we'll see where we're at with that. But uh, I just want to remind everybody, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Uh, let's see, right now we're bringing in minimal power, but the batteries are sitting at 26.2. And believe it or not, with a 26.2, uh, it could be four hours before it even hits 26. So it, uh, it's really dissipating at a slow rate, which is great. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's just, you know, we're getting in enough power each day that it's doing really, really well. All right, Ma. Um, also, guys, remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish... You can do it. The only person that can stop you from reaching those goals is you. Um, stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all tomorrow. I hope everybody has a great night. Prepper Nurse 1, out.